Hey everyone, it's Paul here and I've got a fun project today. Uh, I was in the mood to do some knife making. I'm not a metal guy, uh, so I ordered kits from Hawk Tools and I'll give you a link down below to that and all the stuff that I use uh, during this project. But essentially, uh, the knife blank comes with a piece of steel that is shaped uh, and the pins necessary to align the handle material. I used Babinga uh, and in the video, the one that I show you is uh, Coca Bolo. Now these are both really tropical oily woods so I wipe it down with acetone before putting glue on so that you don't have an adhesion problem. Um, but I also use magnets to hold the sheath on. And that's a key ingredient to uh, a sheath that comes together nicely and stays on the knife. It really gives it a, a nice luxurious feel. So I'm gonna go through the process of making first the knife and then I'll show you the, the sheath as well. Really simple project. You can do it with uh, scrap wood in a, just a couple hours to make the whole setup. So hopefully uh, you, you'll enjoy this and uh, give it a try yourself. First I cut my knife scale pieces into one and a quarter by five by a quarter inch thick. Then I mark the pieces left and right because it's really important to keep track of this after they are drilled. The blade comes razor sharp so it's important to wrap it in masking tape to protect yourself while you're handling it. Then carefully stack the scales and the steel blank and drill three one quarter inch holes through both scales using the handle as a template. I used a couple quarter inch drill bits to maintain registration after each hole was drilled. With the pins in place, trace the knife handle onto each scale. Then cut out the scales on the bandsaw, leaving a good margin to the line. Tape together the scales and carefully shape the front edges by rounding them over. This has to be done before gluing the scales to the blade or you will scar the blade. Add a piece of masking tape at the front edge of the scales to keep epoxy off the blade. Wipe everything down with acetone before gluing. Then mix up a batch of epoxy, mixing it thoroughly so you will get a good bond. It's better if you use a longer setting epoxy, but I've made several knives now with 5 minute epoxy as I'm using here and I've never had a problem. Then put a liberal application of epoxy on the pieces and clamp everything together. Be sure that the pins are fully through the scales on both sides. Clamp it with two to three C clamps, making sure that there is absolutely no gap between the scales and the steel. After several hours of curing, sand the handle using a belt sander. Keep the knife moving and don't let the heat build up as that can soften epoxy. Sand until there is no epoxy visible and all of the steel is flush with the wood. Use a file to flush up the scales down in the corner where the sander couldn't reach. Finish up the sanding using a pad sander if you have one and then some hand sanding. I took it to 600 grit for a really nice finish. Now turning my attention to the sheath. I cut three pieces of coca bola that were 3 16 inches thick by 2 and a half inches by 7 inches long. You want your stock to be just a hair thicker than your knife blade. Trace the blade onto the piece that will become your middle section. Cut out the shape on your bandsaw, taking the line. Trace the shape of your middle section onto the outside panel. Then draw another line about a half inch to the outside of that line. This second line will be your actual cut line.
Then cut to that outside line on the bandsaw. Use a 3 8 inch Forstner bit to mill a recess for each magnet. I'm using a 9 mm rare earth magnet. I started with one but then realized that two magnets were necessary to hold the sheath in place. Wipe down the pieces with acetone, then glue and clamp together. Use a modest amount of glue here to avoid squeeze out inside the sheath that could interfere with the knife's travel. Use a bunch of small clamps and pull everything together. Be sure to apply clamp pressure on the outer edge because the center is thin and unsupported. After glue is fully dried, sand everything smooth and round over those sharp corners. I applied a coat of mineral oil to pop the grain and give a little protection although this coca bola is so oily that it wouldn't really need a finish. All right, that about does it. Thanks for watching. Let me know down below if you have questions. Again, really simple project. Uh, just take your time. Great way to use up some scrap pieces of nice wood if you have some laying around the shop. Uh, and again, thanks for watching. Hope you'll subscribe to Toolmetrics. Come back for more woodworking, wood turning, and DIY videos.